This is 432 Park Avenue. But what if I told you that this super tall residential skyscraper was actually designed after a garbage can? Yep, it was literally designed after a garbage can. But the story of this building is more complicated than just the design. It's actually rife with controversy and also tales that are so outlandish, I barely can believe them. Standing at 1,396 feet tall, this was designed by Uruguay-born architect Rafael Vignoli. However, he's infamous for making the walkie-talkie building in London. Its concave window curtain caused a focused sunbeam at 243 degrees Fahrenheit, melting a Jaguar car beyond repair. You can scorch a carpet, nearly setting fire to it at this local hairdresser on East Chief. And have a look here on the side, the paint has bubbled up from the heat. Even the products inside the window have been affected. That's a plastic lemon. You can see the bubbles on it from the heat, from the sunlight. Now behind me is something that's become rather famous in the last couple of days, the exact spot where someone left his Jaguar just for a few hours, but because of the heat, found that when he returned, the wing mirror and various other plastic panels were melted. Now Land Security is the owner of 20 Fenchurch Street, the walkie-talkie, has said they want this area blocked off from cars so that doesn't happen again. But then there's this building, 432 Park Avenue. It is an oasis in the middle of the big city for mostly anonymous billionaires. The grid pattern is what sticks out the most, is uniform 10 square foot windows based on the garbage can in question. Well, not this trash can to be precise. It was actually designed by Josef Hoffmann, who was from Vienna. He made this in the early 1900s, and it's actually for sale for $260 at the new gallery. Now, the material is poured Portland cement that reaches all the way to the top. From this perspective, you can't even see the top of the building, and it is quite scary. That's what originally shocked most New Yorkers when this was first constructed in 2015. It was extremely skinny for a skyscraper. For context, the height to width ratio of 432 Park Avenue is 15 to one. If you were to take away all other buildings in this area and leave this standing on its own, it would look rather terrifying. It will look at, at any wind or any storm, danger of tipping over. But for context, Empire State Building is a height to width ratio of four to one. So it's a big difference. And during the design phase, even the architect was nervous at the prospect of this falling down. So he had to make something very innovative for this extremely skinny building. So there are actually six buildings stacked up on each other. So we got one over here, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up there on top. These windows over here are not windows at all, nor are really functioning floors. They're meant to allow air and winds to pass through. The apartments actually start at 325 feet in order to provide unobstructed views of Central Park. Everything below is mostly offices or amenities or swimming pools and other crazy things. Plus there's a huge tune mass damper on top. Basically it's a gigantic mechanized counterweight. So if the building sways this way, then the counterweight will go that way. But due to the troubled construction, the building has a long list of pitfalls. So in order to save you from making a 30, 40 minute video, I'm just gonna give you five of them. Number one. Back in 2015, a pipe fell from the 81st floor straight down to the ground. Luckily, no one was hurt. Number two, buyers who were expecting a fully constructed unit actually visited their apartments for the first time wearing hard hats and going up the freight elevator. Uh, quite not the best introduction to a multi tens of million dollar apartment at least in my opinion. Mm -hmm. 
three, the building is actually not located on Park Avenue. It's located on 56th Street. The reason they claim that it's on Park Avenue is because they own this retail space over here in the corner. And apparently there's an entrance that goes directly into the building, even though they currently don't use that entrance. The real entrance is on 56. Yep, still under construction. So here's the front entrance of 432 Park Avenue. You can see there's a glass canopy right over there. One of the men that comes through these doors is Farawaz Alokir. He's a Saudi retail magnate. And he bought the penthouse for $87.7 million back in 2016. You can just imagine living up there with all these magnificent views. Number four, during storms, tenants have reported sounds so loud because the building is swaying that it felt like they were on the ship going through very rough waters. So just imagine the movie Perfect Storm, except you're not in the middle of the sea, you're in the middle of New York. Number five, and this one is the most outlandish one that I personally couldn't believe. In 2016, the tenant of apartment 84B reported, quote, catastrophic water floods, unquote. According to a New York Times article, floors from 83 to 86 were flooded and caused very serious damage. How does a flood happen in the top of a massive skyscraper? Well, that's for another video. That said, the even more important question, would you actually live here? Let us know in the comments. I'm Ariel, this is Urbanist, keeping awesome and always keep on exploring.